Skylar Jacobson, Caitlin Hinchley, Paige Bennett, Amanda Edstrom, Miranda Mullenhauer. 9.69 seconds. That is the amount of time it took to change Usain Bolt's life and become the fastest man on earth. Usain Bolt grew up in a small town in Jamaica that was very poor and did not have street lights or a reliable water source. As a young child, Usain Bolt loved to play cricket with whatever sporting equipment he could find. The information you just heard is from Usain Bolt, the three-time gold medalist for the 100-meter dash in the book Usain Bolt, My Story, 9.58, Being the World's Fastest Man, published on October 1st, 2010. Usain Bolt then went on to win gold at World Youth Championship in 2003 and has not stopped racing since. In the survey we took in this class, 88% of the people watched the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio. The Olympic Games is a worldwide sporting event that occurs every four years in which countries come together to compete for gold medals. First, we will talk about the great history of the Olympics. Second, the evolution of the Olympics over the years. Third, the Summer Olympics. And finally, the Winter Olympics. First, I will explain the intricate history of the Olympic Games. The modern Olympics can be traced back to Greek culture. According to historical records, the first ancient Olympic Games began in 776 BC. These games occurred every four years and took place in Olympia. Before the games, Olympia functioned as a meeting place for worship and other religious and political practices as early as 10th century BC. According to the Olympic Organization, official recorder of all Olympic news, in an article Ancient Olympic Games published in 2016, the center of Olympia was dominated by the majestic Temple of Zeus. Inside the temple was a statue of Zeus six times the size of an average man. The games were held in honor of Zeus, king of the gods. People from all over the Greek world came to watch and participate in the Olympic Games. Since the city-states were often at war, this made travel very dangerous. Tony Hall, editor-in-chief for the BBC, writes in BBC Primary History, Ancient Greek, the Olympic Games, published in 2014, that to promote safe travels, a sacred truce was developed. Messengers from Elis, a town near Olympia, sent out word of this truce. The truce promoted peace one month before the Olympic Games to allow ample travel time to and from the Games. The initial Games aimed to show the physical qualities and evolution of its performers. It did so through sporting events. The initial Games were one-day events, but as the Games grew, so did the days allotted for the Games. The first Games contained running, long jump, shot put, javelin, hand creighton, wrestling, boxing, and equestrian events. Competitors often competed naked and covered in oil as they thought that this would improve their performance. There were three main running events. The stage, which was a 200 meter foot race, the dialysis, which was a 400 meter foot race, and the delotus, which was between seven and 24 stage. These took place on a wide track that could race 20 people at once. For long jumps, competitors used a lead weight. They thought that this would help them to further their distance. As they neared the end of their flight, they would throw the lead weight backwards to propel themselves forward. For throwing events, it's very similar to the technique that you see in today's Olympic Games. Wrestling was highly valued as a form of military exercise without the use of equipment. Wrestling matches were only considered to be over when one opponent admitted defeat. Boxers wrapped their hands in hard leather gloves that often disfigured their opponent's face during the match. Ken Creighton was considered to be the toughest event. It was a primitive form of martial arts that combined both wrestling and boxing. The winner of Creighton was considered to be the winner of the entire Olympic Games. Equestrian events took place in a separate stadium and often consisted of horse and chariot races. There were not many rules for the events or for the competitors that competed in them, but if you were caught trying to bribe an athlete, you were punished by being forced to pay for a bronze statue of Zeus. Winners of these events were given wreaths of leaves to be worn on top of their head. As you can see, these athletes were also welcomed home as heroes. Winners of the Olympic Games were able to marry rich, enjoy free meals, invitations to parties, and the best seats in the theater. While not all Greeks were allowed to compete in the Olympic Games, all free male citizens were allowed to compete regardless of status. On the contrary, unmarried women were not allowed to compete in these games and only allowed to watch the games 
while married women were not even allowed to watch these games. Edward Lawler Jr., a historian at U.S. History Magazine, states in the article titled Olympic Games, published in 2016, that Greeks then began to hold a games in honor of Hera, Zeus's wife. This allowed unmarried women to compete in a series of games, which was mostly foot races. If Greeks were not competing in the Olympic, Olympic Games, they often came to watch. Over 50,000 people could fit in the stadium at one time. Visitors of the Olympic Games usually camped out and pitched tents overnight, while only the athletes and the rich were able to stay in hotel rooms. At the conclusion of these games, there was a huge feast and entertainment. Now that we have heard about the historical background of the Olympics, I will discuss the evolution of the Olympic Games. To be first takes the imagination to do the impossible, the courage to go where no one else has ventured, and the strength to succeed. Records can be broken all the time, but first is a permanent distinction. The modern Olympic Games has brought first to many athletes and countries. The first modern Olympic Games was in 1896 in Athens, Greece. These were organized by Frenchman Pierre de Coubertin, who also assembled the International Olympics Committee. The IOC is in charge of the regular continuation of the Olympic Games, along with promoting sports nationwide. In the 1992 Winter Olympic Games, Kirsty Yamaguchi was the first Asian American woman to bring home a gold medal, stated by Dana Allen Griel, the Chief of Web and Social Media at the National Archives in the article First, Kirsty Yamaguchi, written in August of 2014. Yamaguchi had been born with a foot condition and started skiing to strengthen her feet and ankles. Her achievement would not have been made possible without the IOC and other organizations mandating that women be allowed to participate in the Olympic Games to promote gender equality and the participation of women in sports. Since 1991, any sport asking to be included in the Olympic Games must also offer a women's event. The Summer Olympic Games held in London in 2012 was the first year that all participating countries had female athletes. The Olympic Games have also faced many difficulties, such as doping. The first recorded incident of doping was during the 1960 Games in Rome when a Danish cyclist collapsed and died after his coach gave him a penalty. As a result, formal drug tests were instituted at the 1968 Games in Grenoble, France. The practice of doping and the issue of taking performance-enhancing drugs is still a serious problem facing the Olympic Games. In 1999, the IOC created the World Anti-Doping Agency which mandates that athletes be screened before and after each event. If they test positive, they can be disqualified or banned for possibly years or life. The modern Olympic Games also hold a lot of symbolism, such as the opening, medal, and closing ceremonies, along with the Olympic flag. The, one of the main events of the opening ceremonies is the lighting of the Olympic flame. The Olympic flame burns day and night during the Olympic Games. During the medal ceremony, the national anthem of the gold medalists is played in which spectators are expected to stand and face the flag. After the final event, the Olympic flame is put out and the Olympic flag is taken down. During this time, the youth is called to join again in four years to celebrate the next Olympia. The Olympic flag was designed by Pierre de Coubertin. The flag has a white background and consists of five colored rings to celebrate the five parts of the world coming together to celebrate the Olympic Games. As explained by Harold Maurice Abrams, an Olympic gold medalist in the 100 meter dash, and David C. Young, author of Olympic Myths of Amateur Athletics, in the article Olympic Games written in May of 2014. The, these six colors of the Olympic flag are also represented in participating countries' flags. The blue and yellow of Sweden, the blue and white of Greece, the tricolor flag of Belgium, England, France, Germany, Italy, Hungary, and the United States, along with the yellow and red of Sweden. The intricate colors of the flags of Brazil, Australia, ancient Japan, and modern China are also represented. This makes the Olympic flag truly an international symbol. After learning about 
both the history and the evolution of the Olympic Games, I will explain the Summer Olympic Games. The Summer Olympic Games are very important for everyone around the world. Many athletes have become famous because of the Olympic Games. Most of us can remember when Usain Bolt broke the world record at the 2009 Berlin World Championships one year after taking gold in the Beijing Olympics. Who can forget when Simone Biles became the first woman in 20 years to win back-to-back -back and world, world and Olympic all-around titles in gymnastics at the Rio 2016 Olympics. We can't forget when Michael Phelps swam in five Olympic Games, winning 28 medals in total. Numerous countries with multiple athletes have been represented at the most recent games. Patricio Sanchez Fernandez, professor, professor of financial economics and accounting at the University of Vigo and Antonio Vaamonde Liste has a master's in statistical technique who wrote the article Olympic Medals Success Prediction for 2016 released on September 1st, 2016. They stated that the United States was supposed to win 101 to 106 Olympic medals at the Rio Olympics. But to their surprise, the United States won 121 medals. There were 11,237 athletes that participated in the Rio Olympics. There were 207 countries that were there, including the United States, China, and Jamaica. Katie Bruce, a member of the National Sporting Goods Association marketing team and communications director, stated in the article, Olympic Opportunity, written on November 1st, 2016, stated that there are 42 summer sports associated with the Olympics. Some of these sports, more, more popular sports, include track and field, gymnastics, and swimming. In the track and field portion, there are 24 events for men and 23 events for women. And there are two different types of gymnastics, artistic and rhythmic. In the artistic gymnastics, there are eight events for men and six events for women. But in rhythmic gymnastics, there are only events for women, individual and group. Unlike track and field and artistic gymnastics, there are more events for women than there are for men in swimming. Now these are some games that you hear a lot about in the Summer Olympics. But some, some uncommon games in the Summer Olympics are judo, trampoline, and cycling. In judo, they fight in weight classes. The middle weight for a man is 179 to 198 pounds, while the middle weight for women is 139 to 154 pounds. In trampoline, the athletes do a series of jumps, flips, and stunts, and any bent leg or stumble could cause them to lose points. There are four different types of cycling in the Summer Olympics. These are BMX, mountain biking, road, and track bike. Cycling is also a huge part in the triathlon event of the Summer Olympics. These are the sports that make up the 14 to 18 day span of the Summer Olympics. Now that we have talked about the Greek history of the Olympics, the evolution of the Olympics, and the Summer Olympics, I will talk about the Winter Olympics. The first Winter Olympics took place in 1924 in Chamonix, France. The first Winter Olympics happened because in 1921, the International Olympic Committee met and gave its consent to have its very first Winter Sports Week. Winter Sports Week would later become known as the Winter Olympic Games. The first games were a great success. 16 different countries competed, and there were 16 different events. 258 athletes participated, 247 men, and 11 women. Today, there has been a total of 22 Winter Olympic Games. The Winter Olympics occur every four years. The Winter Olympics and Summer Olympics used to occur on the same year up until 1992. Now they alternate every two years. According to D.G. Romano, the Karabat Professor of Greek Archaeology, in the article Modern Olympic Summer and Winter Game Host Cities, written December of 2012, the Winter Olympics have only been canceled on two separate occasions, in 1940 and in 1944 due to World War II. Right before World War II started, the 1936 Winter Olympics were held in Garmisch Parkenkirchen, Germany. In these games, the Germans yielded to international Olympic leader consistence on fair play and allowed one half-Jewish man to compete on their ice hockey team. Hitler also ordered all anti-Jewish signs to be removed from public view. Perhaps one of the most memorable Winter Olympics for the United States was in the 1980 Games in Lake Placid, New York, 
when the United States beat the Soviet Union 4-3 in ice hockey. In these games, or going into these games, the Soviet Union was seeded first while the United States was seeded seventh. The Soviet Union had won the last four Olympic hockey gold medals going back to 1964 and had not lost an Olympic hockey game since 1968. Just three days before the game started, the Soviet Union beat the United States 10-3 in an exhibition game at Madison Square Garden. The United States was a huge underdog in this game, which would later become known as the Miracle on Ice. The United States would go on to play the, our Finland in the finals and win 4-2 to take home the gold medal. Many different countries have hosted the Winter Olympic Games. Some of these countries include the United States, Italy, Russia, Japan, Yugoslavia, and Switzerland. Currently, there are 15 different events in the Winter Olympics. These are alpine skiing, biathlon, bobsleigh, cross-country skiing, curling, figure skating, freestyle skiing, ice hockey, luge, Nordic combined, short track speed skating, skeleton, ski jumping, snowboard, and speed skating. The last Winter Olympic Games took place in February 2014 in Sochi, Russia. 88 different countries competed in these games with over 2,800 athletes participating. Russia won these games with 33 total team medals and the United States came in second with 28. The International Olympic Committee's Communication Department, a department who ensures the Olympics are promoted on a global level, in the article Sochi 2014 Facts and Figures written February 1st of 2015, states that the amount of men to women in these games is almost equal with almost 40% of the athletes being female. This shows the evolution of gender equality in the Winter Olympics. The next games are scheduled to take place in February of 2018 in Pyeongchang, South Korea. In conclusion, the Olympics is a worldwide sporting event that occurs every four years in which countries compete against each other in order to win gold medals. First, we discuss the Greek history of the Olympic Games, and second, the evolution of the Olympic Games. Third, we talked about the Summer Olympics, and finally, we explored the Winter Olympic Games. As you can recall, Usain Bolt's life changed in just 9.69 seconds. Usain Bolt's incredible gifts would have allowed to him to run the 100 meter dash approximately 100 times throughout the duration of our speech. This shows that even a poor boy from Jamaica can achieve his goals at the well-known Olympic Games. Thank you.